Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem which says that the collar E having a mass of 0.75 kg is attached to a spring having stiffness of K equals to 200 Newton per meter. When rod BC rotates about the vertical axis, the collar slides outward along the smooth rod BE. If the spring is unstretched when S is equal to 0, determine the constant speed of the collar in order that S is equal to 100 mm. Also, what is the normal force of the rod on the collar? Neglect the size of the collar. So here we have this collar E and the, the stretch and the spring is measured from this particular point, right? So at, when the spring, the when the collar location is somewhere here, then the spring is unstretched, right? So this means that the this S represents the stretch in the spring, right? So this S is given, this is equal to 100 mm. Or uh, we can say that this is, uh, in meters, this is 0.1 meters, right? We need to divide it by 1000, so this will give us meters. So the S is 0.1 meters. So now we need, we are going to solve this problem by using the normal and tangential coordinate system. So I will define my coordinates, right? So since uh, this collar is moving around this BC arm, right? So this will be our tangential direction and the normal direction will be towards the center, right? Or towards the axis. So this is the axis of rotation, right? So this is the normal direction and the binormal direction is perpendicular to both of these, right? So now, uh, the weight of this collar will be acting vertically downward. So this will be the weight. Similarly, um, this rod will apply the normal force rod on which this collar is supported, right? So here will be the normal force in the binormal direction. And there will be normal force in the tangential direction as well, right? Let's say that is NT. If it is, if the collar is moving like this, so it will apply the force on this thin rod in the negative t direction and as a reaction that rod will apply the force on this collar in the positive t direction. So let's say that is nt. And the spring force will be, if, if this collar is going outwards, then the spring will apply the force towards the positive end direction. So this is the spring force. So we can write the spring force is Ks, right? S is the stretch in the length of the spring. So K is given, which is 200, and this is 200 Newton per meter. So we need to put S in meters as well. So S is 0.1 meters. So 200 into 0.1, so this will give us 20 Newtons. So the spring force is 20 Newtons. So now if we apply the summation of forces along the binormal axis is equal to zero. So this NB is acting in the positive B direction. So I will write plus NB minus this weight. So minus W and this is equal to zero. Or we can say that the NB, the reaction, the normal force by GE rod in the positive B direction is equal to the weight of this collar. And this weight is equal to 0 0.75 times 9.81. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 9.81. So this is NB. This is 7.36. So NB is 7.36 Newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along the tangential axis, so this will be equal to MAT. But since in the problem statement, we are required to determine the constant speed. So this means that the collar is moving with the constant speed. So this, if the speed is constant, then the tangential acceleration is zero. Since the tangential acceleration deals with the change in the magnitude of the velocity. So this NT is acting in the positive T direction. So I will write NT equals to m a t and a t is zero. So this will become zero. So this means that the normal force in the tangential direction is zero. So if you want to find the resultant normal force on this collar, so the resultant normal force will be equal to 
and b square plus and t square and then we need to take the square root since both of these are the components of this resultant normal force. So since n t is equal to 0 so this means that so n is equal to n b and n b is equal to 7.36 newton which is equal to the weight of the column. Similarly, now we need to find this velocity. So, if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equal to m a n. So, as we can see that this spring force is acting in the positive n direction and spring force is equal to 20 newton. So, we will write plus 20 and this will be equal to the mass of the collar which is 0.75 and a n is v square divided by rho. So, as we can see that if, if I draw a line here, so this is the axis of rotation. So, the radius of the circle about which uh, this collar is rotating is equal to this S, right. So, this means that the radius of curvature is equal to <coughs> 0.1 meters. So, we need to put 0.1 here. So, this is 0.1. So, from this we can write that v square is equal to 20 into 0.1 divided by 0 0.75 and then we need to take the square root. So, this will give us the constant uh, velocity with which the collar is moving. So, 20 multiplied by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.75. So, this is 1.63. So, the velocity magnitude is 1.63 meter per second. So, this is the solution of uh, this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from engineering statics and dynamics.